How's it going guys, this is Zara here. So I wanted to share my review for Helldivers 2. Now I finally got this game after well, a few months since its release. I, on forever the reason, decided not to get this game on day one and I genuinely regret that decision because after playing this game finally, oh man, I'm having a blast with this game. Seriously, like there's so much chaotic fun within here it's genuinely genuinely is an incredible experience like to the point i'm genu i'm having so much fun that i like oh man i'm definitely getting this platinum trophy because this game is genuinely worth it now one more thing i want to mention unfortunately there's just few cons like a little bit negative parts of the, within this game that i'm noticing that it really hinders the experience for me but yet there's just so much good things within this game that heavily heavily outweighs all of the cons that I'm about to mention. I want to mention first con regarding of this game is that, for example, that there's some issues with the server, right? There's some kind of issues with the matchmaking issues as well. For example, I have read a few of the reviews just to preparation for the, my own review, and unfortunately, it seems like this issue still has not been resolved. I, I am hearing that a lot of people, even on day one of this release of Helldivers 2, had the same issues as I do now, after like, what is it, like three, four months after the game's launch? I want to say that's pretty much unacceptable. Yeah, perhaps I shouldn't really be so critical about this as well. Now, not a thing, uh, not a con. Sir, uh, the glitches. What's with that? There's so many issues I'm noticing as well. For example, getting stuck underneath the enemies or underneath the pro some kind of environment. And I just cannot do anything unless I blow myself up on purposely because I have to do, to do so because I cannot get away from this area or because I'm being stuck or being uh, landed underneath the map or whatnot. And it happened quite often. Not too often enough that I was simply like, oh my God, I cannot play this. But to the point of just like, oh man, it's just inconvenient. That's the better word to say. Now, I'm not sure if this is considered to be negative, and I don't know if I would even agree with this, but I still decided to uh, have it in here and mention it. For example, that it unfortunately lacks an offline mode. Like, this game is a PvE. You can't play with your friends and other some, you know, randoms. But I still think that it would be nice to see a more of a offline mode that does not require an internet connection. Still, you can have play a few, uh, actually all of the matches, all by yourself. And that's fantastic because I actually uh, wanted to use it as well, just to see and experience how difficult it is. And mind you, this game you need to play with like four other people, well, three other extra people. So to make sure that you will be able to have like a Hell Divers experience. Now, if you're going through and seeing how the game kind of progresses through, like you have to complete a few certain operations and missions, and that's how you basically unlock new level tiers of difficulties. Now, another thing, levels of tiers of difficulties. Isn't it isn't me, but I feel like levels 7, 8, and 9 are not that different. Now, I am noticing bigger enemies coming up and more often, but they're not that big of a deal comparing to smaller enemy sites, as an example, a Charger. Like, I think Charger is a lot more threatening for me than a Bio Titan. But again, that's just my opinion. Now, I want to say another thing. I love, I love the way there's two different factions within these enemies that you will encounter. One of them is the bugs, the other is the bots. I know they have specific names, I purposely do not remember them and I don't want to. I know there's like automatons and the... Whatever, I'm not gonna even bother pretending as if I know their names. Basically, I think that I definitely prefer the bugs. They're so much more fun in my opinion. I feel like you actually can run away from them. They kind of act as and they are uh, Call of Duty zombies. If you guys know it, of course you know it. <laughs> Basically, you kind of make a train, right? And you run your way through, survive, and a whole lot of bugs are just after your ass. And I, it's just so much fun about this. Some kind of like a little gimmick, and yet it works so so well. The game is ridiculously fun. Like this is the best part about it. It's so chaotic, and so much action is going on in here, especially with your friends, or even by yourself. It's just it's just never gets boring. Now, I love the way as well you can have a crossplay cross between PlayStation 5 and the PC. It really helps. Like, I ended up going on Discord. I went to the Helldivers 2 Discord and just find an LFG matchmaking with some people that, for example, have a similar goal as I do. For example, I want to do sample 
cattle farming, you know, just as an example, or maybe it's going through some of the trophies slash achievements. And yet I have met few people due to this and it genuinely is fun. Not a best thing of all time. This is perhaps the only game that very much does incredible job with the microtransactions. Microtransactions are extremely, extremely friendly within this game. They are here, they exist, but they're so fair, it's incredible. I never thought that you would actually make, you could make microtransactions a part of the gameplay that genuinely makes me look forward to continue on and unlocking it, and yet, it's not so tough and difficult that just becomes extremely repetitive in terms of the microtransactions, of course, right? This is not really a battle system or battle pass system, but it's just done so well, I really appreciate it. And it's a nice thought as well. On top of that, this game is 40 bucks. Like, what? Seriously? That's incredible. Like, a lot of times, AAA games they go up to 70 to 80 bucks ridiculous prices and genuinely are not worth it. In this case, Helldivers 2, I don't think it's even worth $40. I think it's worth 70 because it really is that great of a game and it deserves every penny. And on top of that, I'm kind of glad the way it even has microtransactions because this means you can support the developers who've made this game. And I'm very much glad that they had a shot of actually making this game. I know the Helldivers 2 had about a development of eight years it genuinely is incredible how long they've been doing this game for and yet Sony also made their appearance and gave them the funds that they needed to make sure that this game gets off uh, you know just goes out to the public and actually people can experience it and play for themselves and I'm so glad the way I got an opportunity of trying this game out for myself very much is fun and I love the adventure and the experience within this game well guys you know I don't really have anything else to say other than just full of praises regarding Helldivers 2. So much fun, so many varieties of gunplay, varieties of missions, and especially have the best part, stratagems, right? So fun. For example, the way you can initialize them, right, or activate them is by com combo of the uh, button presses. And the same thing if you want to do something in terms of the mission layouts or activate this specific mission or whatever you need to do or activate this nuke <laughs> yeah and you blow the hell up everything you see i love the way it also has a friendly fire activated but the thing i'm noticing there's not many of those what's the word grievers right basically they don't annoy you that for example you go in and join the match and somebody shoots you in the back of the head and just call it as a day is right it just didn't this didn't actually happen to me a lot of people here are friendly and, and also are trying to be respectful and they're sure pass. That's incredible. Like they teach you a lot of things. And especially if you don't understand something, they always will be friendly with you. And I genuinely, genuinely respect that. Oh man, Helldivers 2, such an incredible experience. Very much, I'm so glad the way that I've gotten a try and played it for myself. Ah, I hope this game continues on being a success and Maybe in the future, Arrowhead, the developers, will get an opportunity of making Helldivers 3 and actually go in a bigger scope even than Helldivers 2 was. Now, now that I think about it, I don't think it, they will be able to make the same feel of, for this game, unfortunately, because I have heard some issues with their engine that they've been using. And so perhaps maybe the next step, it will be Unreal Engine, just like everybody else. And I think they can still pull something creative out of this game. And I respect them for that really is incredible experience thank you for this arrowhead wow wow again i think if i would have to give it a score maybe 9 or 10 out of 10 masterpiece almost for sure thank you again guys like and subscribe see you guys all and have a wonderful day